Hey guys, it's Vic, High Desert Man, and I just wanted to, let's straighten this out a little here, just wanted to make a quick video, sorry about that sun, um, <clears throat> about an issue I had on my chainsaw uh, this past weekend. I was cutting, and the darn thing got stuck in the on position, and apparently this is a problem that has happened before on much older versions, uh, uh, much older steel saws than mine. And from what I can tell, they haven't too dramatically changed the design. And it's a design flaw, so saws are still gonna have this problem, I guess. Um, anyways, I'll get you in here so you can see okay. what's going on. So, see if we can get some light here on the subject. Okay, so this is the choke slash on off switch and you can see it's kind of jiggling around there. It's not real, and it's because it's not, it's not in, where's the thing? It's not in this um, slot right now. It's supposed to snap down in that slot, but you can't snap it down. It, it won't go in. And the reason why, and, and when, I, when I do get it down in there, if it's all the way Let's see, what position was it in? I think it was all the way down, which is with the choke on. I was able to get it in there, but then when you pull the trigger, it ends up popping back out. Okay, so if you can see this piece of metal right here that my, I'm moving it up and down right there. That's actually a spring that, <laughs> it's kind of deceiving because the way this trigger mechanism is shaped with that, with that arm right there, or that, that piece that comes down, it looks like it's supposed to fit in that spring. You know, it looks like that's how it's supposed to be, but that's the incorrect way. Actually, you gotta pull this out, and you gotta get that spring up on top of here, because that spring contacts this wire, contacts this wire right here, and that's what actually shuts it off. So I can't do this with one hand. I'm gonna uh, go back to two hands, uh, fix the problem, and then I'll come back and show you what I did. And we're back. Okay, so uh, as you should be able to see now, I, I have that spring piece sitting on top of the, of the switch mechanism now. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this and watch what I'm doing at the same time. So now my trigger, or my, my choke and on-off switch is working normally. It's, it's working as it should. When you pull the trigger to go all the way down to choke, and it'll give you a, a false start. Once you get that false start, you push it up here, and then you pull the trigger, and now you're in run. And then when you want to stop it, and now everything feels normal. It feels the way it's supposed to. But I don't know how it happened. I don't know how that little spring back there ended up popping underneath underneath here. You know, sometimes when I'm cutting and I get done, I'm in the habit of just kind of smacking that uh, from the run position right there, uh, kind of hitting it with my finger, and maybe that caused it. I don't know. But anyways, that's the fix. All right, guys. Stay rugged.